So in this video, what we're going to look at is when you just have a long line of numbers that are being added and subtracted. So we've just got uh, addition and subtraction. And we've got 3 plus 2, take away 1, plus 8, take away 2, take away 5. Now, if you have been schooled on working with bin mass, then uh, you must make sure that you do not interpret this incorrectly. So some people will say, right, I've got to do the additions first before the subtractions. And that is not the case. So don't go and do, well, I'm going to do 3 plus 2 first, and then I'm going to do 1 plus 8 first. Okay, that's not how it works. That's not how we work it. And it's important that um, mathematics, when we deal with something like this, it is unambiguous. So that there is only one way of doing it. Otherwise, it can be misinterpreted. So, when you just have addition and subtractions, what you're going to do is you're going to start from the left and work your way to the right. So, you can kind of think of it like a list. I'm going to start with 3, and then I'm going to add 2. Then I'm going to subtract 1. Then I'm going to add 8. Then I'm going to subtract 2. Then I'm going to subtract 5. That's what it's saying. So, first of all, 3 plus 2, well that's 5. Okay. Right, so then we've got 5 take away 1, which is 4. Then we're adding on 8. Then we're subtracting 2. Then we're subtracting 5. So the end result is 5. Now you don't need to write all of that out. That's really just to kind of show the progression. So we started off with 3 plus 2. That was 5. Then we took away 1, which was 4. We added 8, which was 12. We took away 2, which was 10. Then we took away 5, which was 5. And that's where we get our end result.